Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi again, everyone. All right, this is really cool video here from a um, meteorologist out in southwestern Oklahoma. This is a, a high-based supercell. Take a look at that. Isn't that an impressive, gorgeous structure to that storm? You've got a lot of inflow into it, wrapping in from these uh, swirls up here in the clouds. You can see the rain falling out of it. It's just a really, this is not created tornado. It's just a high-based supercellular thunderstorm. Really impressive. All right, so let's go to the radar tonight and see what where we stand at this time. The showers and thunderstorms, nothing severe. No watches or warnings in effect. The tornado watch expired at 10 o'clock for the counties down to the south. Rain showers now eastern Delaware County through Adair County. It's pouring in Adair County right now. And western LaFleur County also raining. A few showers redeveloping here in parts of northeastern Osage County and up into Chautauqua County in southeast Kansas. And those will move over toward Copan and Bartlesville. Again, not severe. Come down here to this little, what well, looks like a feature that could be producing some very gusty winds moving toward Hevener, also toward Poto in about six minutes and continuing off to the east toward Hackett. So all of this clearing out, coming in behind it, some drier air. Winds will eventually turn around to the west as the day goes on tomorrow, and it should be a beautiful Saturday. Right now, 66 in Sand Springs, 67 in Tulsa, 66 at Bixby, 65 at Collinsville, and 66 at Claremore. Around the region, 69 at Eufaula right now, and 67 at Okima. All right, taking a look at our rainfall statistics. Boy, we started off on a real slow note, but things have really improved here now with 10.26 inches of rainfall being average. Tulsa's yearly total now up to 9.34, so we are catching up as we get into the latter part of April. We'll get about a week's worth of uh, a break from the rain before the next shot. We have a little shot on Monday, but a better chance of rain comes in a week from tomorrow, maybe even a week from Sunday. So this system moves away. You can see the upper low spinning and it's spinning up uh, into Iowa here. And so that drier and less humid air will come in for the tail end of the weekend. So overnight tonight, the rain chances look like this. Through 1 a.m., Bartlesville has a 60% chance of rain. Tulsa still has a 50% chance of rain. McAllister's rain chance moving down. By daybreak tomorrow, a 0% chance of rain in Bartlesville, 20% chance of rain at McAllister. By 10 a.m., most or not all of us will be done with the rain. The other big story here will be the temperatures. Look how cool it is tomorrow morning. Lower 50 Saturday morning. And temperatures only warm into the lower 70s to mid 70s tomorrow. And then Sunday morning, 47, 48 degrees around Tulsa. Maybe cooler up at Coffeyville and Veneta, lower 40. So a very cool air mass coming in. Today's high 75, the low 56. The average is 75 and 54. We had six tenths of an inch of rainfall in the gauge in Tulsa, more than two inches at McAllister today. Cloudy skies currently outside. Our temperature 67. We've got a south wind at seven miles an hour. Still kind of humid. The dew point at 64 relative humidity at 90% right now. So 56 showers, thunderstorms ending, but it will be mostly cloudy. We'll see lows around 49 at Bristow, 60 at Muskogee, 58 over at Tahlequah, 61 at McAllister. And then during the day tomorrow, we'll get back to sunshine. Just a beautiful day as the temperatures warm up to around 75. A pleasant day with a west wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. High temps in Independence, 71, 75 Tulsa, 79 at McAllister and at Stigler. And then on the seven day forecast, after we take a look at Claremore's forecast tomorrow as the winds turn to the west, just be a great day especially if we have a baseball tournament over in Claremore, 75. 70 on Sunday, 68 Monday, 20% chance of rain. Tuesday, 70 degrees, 76 on Wednesday. Then lower 80s Thursday, mid 80s by Friday, setting us up perhaps in the cycle. Here comes another storm system that we had 50 days ago, and it's coming back around. So May 7th, 8th, 9th, that sets us up for another chance for some severe weather.